find any words. Can it? I run the website Morse and Lewis and Endeavour.com. So here we are at my third review of the six series, and this particular episode is called Confection. Unfortunately, there's nothing sweet about this episode, I'm afraid. Misery does love company, but I think. As far as this series is concerned, Misery has had more than enough company and it doesn't need any more. Let's just get to the nub of the whole situation with the sixth series. First episode, very good. I gave it 7 out of 10. Second episode, Apollo not so good I gave it 5 out of 10. My rating for this episode will be shown at the end but I think you can see where I'm going. The problem is, is that or one of the problems is that the standards of television in general have dropped. There's so many TV channels that they just have to fill them with everything and anything and here in the UK, in particular ITV, just keep churning out drama after drama, week after week, month after month, year after year. And of course to fill all that time, standards have to drop. Because if standards drop, then people's expectations drop as well. And then it gets to the point where people see something that's slightly above average and see that as being excellent because everything else they watch has a lower standard. It's just, of course, the main problem is Russell Lewis, the writer. We know he can write well. Of that, there's no doubt. He wrote some of the best Morse episodes. The Way Through the Woods, for example. Excellent episode. He's made great episodes for this series as a whole. Pilot, I think I gave that 9 out of 10. And then you have the first series with episodes like Fugue and Home. A great, again, very good episodes. Very interesting. Second series, just as good. Third, good. Maybe slightly dropped in standard, but since then uh, it's just especially five, series five, which as I've said before, I only like two of the six, six episodes. And so far I've only liked one of the three episodes in this series. Russell is letting the actors and the crew down. They are doing their best. The, the actors and the crew are doing excellent sterling work. 
but they're not being helped by Russell Lewis. He is letting the team down. Now, as I have said on my Facebook page and on my complete review of this episode, and by that I mean my reviews on my website include things like uh, um, the locations, the music used, uh, connections with Morse or Lewis, uh, as far as actors or storylines are concerned. And talking of storylines, Russell Lewis has pretty much lifted the whole story from Agatha Christie's um, story, uh, which is Follow the Finger, which was about poison pen letters. I wouldn't be surprised if Russell doesn't get a, um, doesn't get sued for uh, plagiarism from the, the, the Christie's. Now what's worse is that Russell Lewis is trying to distract you from how poor the storyline and the plots are. And by that I mean he's distracting you with these sad little vignettes in each episode. He's distracting you with showing you about Bright's dying, dying wife. Again, well, why was it necessary to bring her in? It's just distract. The Joan and Moore situation is a distraction. The Fred and Wynne storyline is a distraction. And that's all they are, is simply distractions. The, the uh, Wynne dancing with another man. Distraction. Because he's trying to distract you from, as I said, how poor the plot and storyline is. And then of course he does that awful thing with situations like Mrs. Bright dying. We're trying to get you emotionally, trying to get you all teary. And then the, and then those tears will well up in your eyes, blinding you to the rest of the plot and lack of plot and lack of story. And that's just terrible. These scenes are are clawing to say the least. It's, it's manipulation. That's all. And another problem the stories are having is that they are obvious. I'm sure, hands up, all those who, when Morse dated the cycle, knew then that she was the killer. Put your hands in the air if then you knew that she was responsible for the poison pen letters. Of course, you'd have to be just dropped onto this planet, never seen a TV show before, never seen a film, not to have seen that. As much as all the TV and film references are, they are just a distraction. It may help me when it comes to writing a review of the episode because it can fill up my review quite nicely, thank you. But it's a distraction. Having the episode start in a David Lynchian way, straight from the wonderful film Blue Velvet. But it's just this another distraction is the situation with Fred and Ronnie Box. Hands up all those who believe hands up all those who believe that Fred Thursday has become corrupt. No, of course not. Hands up all those who have got a fairly good idea what's going on. Yes, I think I could be wrong. It's not the first time, of course. But I think what's going to happen in the last episode, because I can't see it dragging on to series 7, but it may do so. Thursday, and I actually said this right from seeing the trailer before the series started, 
Thursday is undercover. That's what's happening. He's there to expose Ronnie Box and Yap. And again, this illustrates how obvious the scripts have become. I hope there will be, I think, a series seven. And ITV may allow this to happen to allow Russell Lewis to um, tie up all the loose ends from this and the, the previous series. In particular, the defined the killer of George Fancy. Surely they're not going to wrap that situation up in one episode. That I think would be cheating the TV viewers just to suddenly wrap everything up in a neat little bow. And if the last episode, which is on in UK at least this Sunday, suddenly does wrap that up, that we find Fred is not corrupt and it suddenly becomes all very happy and everything is nicely neatly tied up and concluded, that again also would be cheating the viewers. For that, there is that situation. I'm happy to wait until the seventh series and I can really fully focus on finding the killer of George Fancy. Because I think that needs something deeper than just suddenly finding out who it was at the last minute. But personally, I think it will not conclude uh, until the seventh series. It's a shame that there is only two pieces of classical music used in this episode and they are very short and unfortunately this is symptomatic of the way the series has gone in the last few series um, series five in particular or even one episode the episode colors had no classical music is it russell or is it the composers and conductors who are not using the classical music. So that's either Barrington Fulong, who came back for this episode, and Ma Matthew Slater, who's done most of the music for the last few series. Uh, of. Classical music is a connective tissue that umbilically links all three series. Or at least it did until the last few series where classical music is pushed aside for rock and pop music of that particular era. Is, is that Endeavour series is losing interest in who its parents were. That's the Morse series, the Lewis series and Colin Dexter. It's act, the, the series Endeavour is acting like this unruly child that decided it doesn't care about its heritage um, or its responsibility or its genetic inheritance. I believe that's one reason why the series is dying a slow death. One reason. Russell Lewis adopted Colin Dexter's child, but he's begun to neglect that child in favour of showy references and a turgid love story, i.e. Joan and Morse, and plots that have about as much substance uh, in regard to crime drama, that is, as much substance as a game of Cluedo. And of course, Mr Lewis will not be watching this or reading my uh, review. Just before you write the seventh series, sit down watch all three, th all 33 episodes of the Morse series and also watch your first three series of, the, of, of your endeavour of endeavour and then just watch and revel in the quality of writing and the storytelling, the quality of the storytelling watch those and admire them so in conclusion let's hope the last episode, the fourth one, will be so much better 
and the second and third film will be the quality of not better than than episode than episode because and for no other reason as lots of Morse fans I think are losing patience with it and I think in a small way that can be seen when you go on Twitter and Facebook and people are busy doing that rather than what they're rather than watching the episode. Now some people are doing it of course during the um, the breaks, the ad the ads. When I when I looked back at some of the timings, they weren't they were actually tweeting and Facebooking their messages during the actual episode. If the episodes are that good, you will not be distracted in that way. Of course, I've been talking about all the bad points of the episode, making it sound like there's no good points or good anything good about the episode. And of course, there is. But unfortunately, the good parts are being overpowered by so much of bad quality uh, in the episode. I mean the good points of course as always is the acting. Uh, in particular scenes like between Mr and Mrs Bright. Now I still personally would have preferred not to see Mrs Bright. I like the whole situation where we never met her much like in the same way that from Dad's Army we never met Mrs Mannering, uh, in Cheers we never met Norm's wife, uh, Columbo we never met his wife, and let's not talk about the TV series Mrs Columbo, but let's pretend that never happened. So I like that aspect but we never saw her. Um, but again I think she was brought in just as a distraction to everything else. That was going on. Um, that was that scene and the other scene with Bright and Max uh, is another good scene where Bright is asking some advice from Max. Another good and well acted scene. But they're becoming few and far between. And I think that's partially what makes it worse. You know Russell Lewis can write well. But unfortunately it's becoming too far and few between and that's and that's a shame but hopefully the last episode and the seventh series which hopefully we'll get and I believe as I said that we will will well maybe not make us forget how many bad episodes of there's been but will be it will help us to enjoy the conclusion to the Morse series as a whole. So, anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, and as always, uh, ask, ask please that you subscribe, not only here on my YouTube channel, but also on my website as, as well. And the details of that are in the information box below. So, fingers crossed for the fourth episode. And anyway, I'll see you uh, next week with another review. Thank you.